In an interview, Hurrier made a strong statement about David Ginola, calling him a murderer of team and accusing him of committing crimes against his side. But why such harsh words were used for a man who was named the player of the year in 1993? Let's find out. So the year is 1993 and USA is hosting the World Cup in the following year. And France's star-studded team was on course to qualify for the World Cup. Now all they had to do was win against Israel and Bulgaria. They had already picked apart Israel 4-0 in reverse fixture, so it seemed like a mere formality. And Bulgaria were the minnows of international football, with a player like Stoichkov in their side, but not enough firepower to hurt the French. And yet somehow, France lost to Israel 3-2, putting them in a position where they needed at least a draw against Bulgaria to secure their place in the World Cup. They took an early lead, but Costadinos had uh, leveled the game. And when the mercurial winger was subbed in for Jean-Pierre Papin, all he needed to do was wind down the clock. But in the 90th minute, with David Genola in possession, he decided to cross the ball into the box. And from there, France's worst fears were realized. The Blues conceded on the counter. And when the final whistle blew, one of the Bulgarian commentators cried, God is Bulgarian. Indeed. Stoichkov, the joint top scorer of that World Cup, led Bulgaria to a fourth place finish. Meanwhile, in the French camp, Julio hasn't forgiven Ginola, and that cross continues to haunt him to this day.